Hello guys, I've not made a video in six days and I have just it's taken me a long time, it feels like it's taken forever. But I finally got the Mega Mansion done and I'm all moved in. Meaning this house is ready for someone else to move into. I took all the coal out of the auto smelter. You know, it's it but this house is completely empty. I took away all the chests that are up here except for these and these. I emptied the furnaces. I had a little bit of gold in there that I forgot I put in there. You know, I've done all this. I don't remember. I don't think this was in the last video because I, I you know, I've just been kind of working on looks other than buildings. And, you know, so everything's out of here. Everything's empty. We got Fred the Axolotl. I don't think I had him last episode because last episode I built this house. So, yep. We got that him now. And this is his main pond, but he's been in here for like days, so I built this little temporary house for uh, in case people want to move in, like I got a guy living in it now. I did a little bit of work down here. The storage area is kind of, you know, dressed up now, and I can actually extend it all the way down here if I need to, like way down here, so instead of it just stopping there. I can have it stop all the way down here, and that's like a for everyone that lives in the town. I have moved the I have destroyed the beacon because I don't want whoever gets this house to like think of third and take diamond blocks. So I'm gonna move it over here somewhere, probably behind the mega mansion. And I guess we'll just get into it. But I don't know if I should start at the entrance or where I started building because the place I started. Well, the, I first built like this building here and it wasn't, it didn't go all the way down. It was just like half of this. I started the build here with the top part of this and then I extended it to this and then I got, I mean, this part was just out of hand and I, you know, I think I did a fair job trying to make it look somewhat decent. And that was when I had added this part and it was just gonna be basically that I guess we'll just get right into the door um, and we'll start from I think we'll start from the entrance just because that's where I go in the house every single time okay so first you walk inside you got the entrance we got the start of the build I think that was a start I'm not entirely sure um, because I did start it a long time ago, like before, you know, the past couple videos on here, but Stand. I just ended up kind of stopping it because I wanted to get, you know, the houses over here in the farm and storage area built. Okay, so we got this picture here. Um, these pictures I got from a PW. This one, uh, this one. Um, got, got some money laying around. These chests have nothing in them other than this one. It's like my stuff I don't know, you know what to do with. Like, I don't have any organization spot for them. I guess we move into the organization room where I got these luscious tools that I've purchased. I was given 17 mil. I mean, I've, I've been given a lot of money and I've made a lot of money over here. So, I just decided to hang this up as decoration because... I don't really need them that bad. Like this pickaxe, I'll show you what's on them. Efficiency 14, fortune 12, mending 20, unbreaking 20, tunnel 3, telekinesis, and haste 3. When I was mining with this dang pickaxe, I got so much coal and copper. It's not even funny. I got like chests of both. We got the hoe, which I was given, got for free by Harry. Actually, just typed in chat. It has, um, it's unbreakable, has efficiency 12 and fortune 7, so I think that would be good for trying to get saplings. Oh, I didn't know I could swap this. Wait, what? Oh. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about. Oh, I love the winter one a lot better. 
That is definitely a lot better than the Christmas. We got the Lunar Axe, which has Efficiency 13, Fortune 7, Mending 20, Sharpness 13, Unbreaking 20. Pretty pretty nice axe. And then we got the, the Rod, the Valentine's Rod, which has Legacy 8, Lure 8, Mending 20, and Unbreaking 20. Pretty sweet looking fishing rod. You know, you come up here, you got the whole view of the town, which it will be filled up even more. Can't wait. You go over here, you got a luscious view of the ocean. Pretty cool view. You got the view of the castle from Dark Dat Batman's view. I don't even know if he plays here anymore. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's gotten any progress on the castle done. Then you move your way upstairs, and there's nothing because I don't think I'm going to put anything up here. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with this side. If I'm going to put a window, maybe a design of some sort. I think a design would definitely look a lot better than one gigantic window. And then we have to move back down to the bottom here. So like I said, I got everything organized in here. Looks pretty amazing. And then uh, we move on to this little room, which when I was building, I kind of thought of Stampy's Lovely World when he still, you know, had that series. And so I put the glass here. And this is where I keep like my items. Like this room is more like for blocks. This room is more for like actual items. And I I don't know why, but this guy he asked if anyone wanted gold, and he brought me a crap ton of gold. I basically have this stack of ingots, and that was it. He brought me this and all the way down, just of gold. So got a bunch of gold, and I, he said I could give him whatever for it. So I just gave him 50k because it's a crap ton of gold. He said he wanted a dollar per raw ingot and five dollar per block. And the raw ingots, of course, I had to put in the blocks. So I did not have enough space for that. Since we're here, I'm going to put away my emeralds and diamonds from the pinata party, and my oscillate heads in there and shoot I'm gonna put my arrow away as well you go this way there's just a balcony to an area that I will work on this is the interior tour I haven't really worked on the exterior and the back much so I just decided to go and give a tour of the inside so this is my bedroom as you can see here. I don't know if you saw it earlier I, I wasn't sure what to put in here I'm trying to get some more discs I got another one in there but it's a green one and it's in the item frame so I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to try and get two other ones I got this uh, compass from it's like a warden compass got some books here um, the light I forgot what these are called actually uh, end rods really bring together I think like and make it look better it really it brightens up the place and it gives like a design i like the plant the rug i thought about stampy's too because his ceiling is or his floor is blue i think it's i don't know what blue i can't remember it's been that long got chest here just for looks and then we move on to the balcony of you know polar's cactus farm and that dark dat batman's medieval castle and that's pretty much for the main level and then we got to move down to the second floor I just want to show you all some of these signs got smiley face we got the welcome sign and there's nothing really else to it what we'll do is we'll go down here to the kitchen which I actually did today and it actually turned out way nicer than I thought uh, these frog lights really were really a good idea. I really like that Minecraft added them because they really bring the kitchen together. We got you know a little microwave, fridge. T sucks you can't put anything in here, but it's still a cool design. You know, little cabinets. And then we go this way. This is the first room I started working on. And I remember because I did the floor and I prepped the carpet and I was like. The very, the very first thing in here was this carpet. So here we just got some chests. Of, no way, I was talking about this earlier. That's funny. I got dis discs in there. <laughs> oh, I got my bank money. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's really anything else in here. 
Oh well, yeah, I bought five blaze spawners. People were selling them for two million, and then I saw one for one million, and I saw four more for one million. So one million each. I spent five million on these. Uh, they might come in handy sometime. I don't know. These rooms are just storage rooms. I don't have anything in them because they're just because of how empty the room was. I just wanted them there. I got a crate of bread and a crate of apples, and then I got a basket of corn and a basket of wheat but I put bread here just cause why not we have this amazing picture here we got like a garage bay I thought about building a little car here but all the cars I saw it I didn't really like any of them so I just didn't we go up here we got you know a little loft section with barrels and they're all empty they don't got anything in them and then we move to the furnace room, which I also got inspiration from Stampy, just because I know of his like room of furnaces in it. The leap to his lovely garden. And I got some loot in here. And then we got the enchant room, which there's nothing up top. And uh, you know the enchantment table and the chest. All that grindstone I figure fits down here the smithing table and crafting table we got the, the dock for fishing so I got my own dock you know that's like the, the town dock over there it's pretty terrible but maybe I can get an upgrade soon and then that's when you just make your way out and uh, that's it I, I got this from you know this whole section right here I got inspiration from Stampy because of his you know his fences he, I you know he has under his house like a circle of wood so I'm gonna put a circle of gravel and cobblestone in here maybe get some fish to put in here and name them or something that'd be cool and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video